I'm going to be signing a national emergency. We're talking about an invasion of our country with drugs, with human traffickers, with all types of criminals and gangs. President Trump declares a national emergency today. The move is in an attempt to redirect about $6 billion in federal funds towards the construction of a border wall with Mexico. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us here at 4 p.m. Democrats will almost certainly challenge the declaration in court. Several Republican lawmakers are also worried about the president's move to bypass Congress. We now go live to Washington and ARK Force Washington correspondent Drew Petromo. And Drew, you spoke to Arkansas lawmakers how are they reacting to today's announcement? Well, hey, Mallory, it seems like one battle ends and another begins here. Washington found a solution to an impasse over spending to avoid another government shutdown. Now it's on to a battle over the extent of presidential power. On Friday, President Trump signed a bipartisan compromise on border security to avoid another government shutdown. Then he promised to use executive power to do what Congress would not. The compromise included nearly $1.4 billion for 55 miles of new border wall. By declaring a national emergency and redirecting defense and treasury funds, the president says he can spend $8 billion more billion to extend the wall farther. At some point, the president has to show leadership and not act like a spoiled brat. Or a bully. Democrats like Mississippi Representative Benny Thompson and Alabama's Terry Sewell say the president is misusing powers reserved for Congress. The Constitution is pretty clear that it gives the uh, constitutional power of the purse to Congress. Democrats are promising to fight the president's move and there's already talk of legal challenges and even some Republicans oppose the plan. This is not what the National Emergencies Act was intended to be used for. Republicans like Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton say they're waiting for details. He has many delegated powers from the Congress, but those, they can only be uh, used in certain ways. But others like Louisiana Republican Clay Higgins said for weeks they support the president acting alone. He has a constitutional obligation to protect the security and sovereignty of our nation. Now, one of the warnings about this uh, precedent is that it, act, or one of the warnings about this executive action is that it sets a bad precedent. That really comes from both sides. This time, it's being used to address border security, but opponents, even on the conservative side, say it could be used by a future president to adjust, address things like gun control or climate change. Reporting from Washington, I'm Drew Petromo. Back to you.